Hi, so this is a video on how to watch my stories, how to experience them. That's a better way to put it. Um, seems like it should be intuitive, but they're rather different. And because uh, so much of the meaning can be derived from the juxtaposition of words and images, sound, lyrics, music, color, themes. Um, there's so many illusions. The diction is almost like it's designed for a poem. Everything is very compact and interrelated. And um, so this is what I recommend whether it's the case of the disappearing dandelions, musical trilogy. Well, actually those are a separate case because there is no text, but this, so the three pieces that have text are the case of the disappearing dandelions and then the two sneak preview chapters, title and prelude and rabbit and violin. The trilogy, you watch it just like a playlist um, in order. Again, the juxtaposition is critical and there is a narrative arc. I don't actually know what it would be like to watch them out of order. And there may be some value in doing that. I do know what it's like to download all the videos and watch them like a movie on a big screen TV. And I can tell you it's fantastic. And that's the way I prefer to watch it um, off YouTube, actually. But... Um, it changes the meaning. Um, everything changes once you actually remove it from its social media context. And there, well, some of them have um, a direct relationship, even a commentary on virtual reality, social media, the internet, um, and our creative interactions with that realm of existence that is important to actually first watch them on social media. But this is what I recommend. It's very brief. Um, read the text first. Read the documents first, all the way through. Uh, D&D lines, I print out and follow along, actually. And then click each of the links in order. I don't think it's giving anything away to say that not every link is to a YouTube video. Um, it's really that simple and, um, well, I've watched them so many times at this point, uh, uh, in the creation of them. I think I've watched each of these videos perhaps hundreds of times, uh, particularly, um, dandelions and, uh, there's always more to be gleaned. There's always more connections to be made. Um, and then once you've made the internal connections to go ahead and make the external ones, to follow your curiosity, everything becomes relevant. What's the date a video was uploaded to YouTube? How many people have actually seen it? What's in the description? And what tickles your fancy and makes you think, I want to follow that up and Google that. So much of the composition of these works came from following my curiosity, leapfrogging from one video to the next, to the next, to the next idea, to the next song, to the next thought in my head that said, hmm, I wonder what that's about. And the doors and the windows that open and the roofs that are blown off the house. Well, I'll just stop there. Don't want to say too much. Bye.